Tonight, the Fort Worth City Council approved a new management contract for the Cowtown Coliseum in the stockyards. The move could put the weekly rodeos at risk. New at 10, Caroline Vandergriff joining us now, and there's quite a bit of talk about something that is unlikely Fort Worth or uniquely Fort Worth. Caroline. That's right, Ken. City Council unanimously approved this new agreement, but it's still unclear how exactly it will impact the future of the historic Coliseum. Make some noise. Come on, Jimmy, come on. It's like, uh, you know, it's, you know, Chicago and, and uh, pizza. I mean, it goes hand in hand. For many people, you can't have Fort Worth without the stockyards. And that includes the weekly rodeo at the Cowtown Coliseum. It's such uh, an integral part of our uh, heritage here. Uh, it, that'd be, it would be tragic to lose that. The Friday and Saturday night rodeos may become a thing of the past under new management of the Coliseum. Losing the rodeo? Uh -huh. No, I mean, that's, that's what draws the people over here. I mean, this is, you know, this is Cowtown. This is the stockyards. You know, they got to have that here. The city of Fort Worth owns the historic building. The council voted Tuesday night to hand over control of the Coliseum's programming to the Fort Worth Heritage Brand Development Brand Company. Brand the group is currently working on the Mule Alley Shopping Center, which is right across the street from the Coliseum. Will there be the weekly rodeos? How will that affect future tourism? Those who spoke at the meeting asked the council to make sure the rodeo stays a part of the Coliseum's future. We all share one thing in common, and I think that's the love and, and concern for the building being directly related to the Western heritage of our community. The current general manager of the Coliseum told me he believes the new management group will continue the rodeos, but they may not happen every weekend like they do now. The mayor has previously said they may just be once or twice a month. She was not at the meeting tonight. Live in Fort Worth, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.